Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I have 10 more tips and tricks and things that you may not know that are super helpful in the game. Starting off with probably the funniest of them all, you can get fat like you can in single player, but you can take it to another level depending on your body type. I'll leave the sources to these pictures in the description, but you can see this one is the max weight limit when you have like the standard body type, I believe. And then the best one, when you have the heavy body type and you get fat, this is what you look like. So if you want a big old character in Red Dead Online, you may want to remake your character with the heavy body type and then eat to your heart's desire so you can get that weight up. I'm not entirely sure if there's any benefits for losing or gaining weight. If it's like single player, if you have less weight, your stamina runs out less quickly. And if you have max weight, I think you get more like a little bit more health or something. But do just know maintaining that max weight, you're going to need to be eating probably a decent amount. So if you want the max weight, then uh, you can totally do that. And that's what it looks like. Next up, this is something that is a little minor thing, but it is cool especially if you run across the few friendly people out there in online, the emotes, you actually have three different versions of each one. So kind of like how G to line, there were two different versions in this game. There are three and the way you activate them, you activate the normal one by just tapping, let's say X on whatever emote it is. And it does it normally. You can do the more exaggerated emote by double tapping the button. So I'm gonna double tap X and it does the more exaggerated one. And then if you just wanna hold the emote, you can just hold the button down. So you hold X down and your guy will just continually do whatever emote you have chosen. So this may be funny or cool to just use new emotes or new styles of emotes. You're hanging out with some random people that are kind of cool. They're not killing you. Thought I'd mention that just to give some more variety to the normal standard wave everyone does. Next up, this one is super important, especially if you are leveling, you are doing a lot of, or you're completing a lot of these challenges. It actually also, I believe, gives you gold, but you can reset your award challenges. If you go into the award section in the menu, on some of the awards, on most of them actually, you will notice at the bottom right, it's probably grayed out like it is for me because you only unlock it when you complete the awards, but there's the reset award option. And I don't think it really says this anywhere, so it's kind of something you just have to stumble across. When you reset an award, you get bonus XP, but then you also get golden bars. It's not a lot, but that is how you can farm golden bars a little bit quicker than what you may be getting them at. So check your awards, see if you have any that can be reset, and then totally do that. Now, one thing I mentioned yesterday in my fishing guide, and I just wanted to reiterate it because it is very easy to do. Fishing is a great way to level up your health. Your health is one of the slowest things to level up because I mean, stamina, you could always be running. You can level that up really easily. Dead eye, that's another one that's kind of easy to level up. But health, it's like, ha, you know, how do I exactly get this up relatively quickly? Well, go fishing, super easy, and you have the benefit of actually making a lot of money in addition to raising your health. That's what I've been doing. My health is almost at full. And then I did just want to also mention this because I've seen a lot of people wonder like why they don't see fish in the river when they're running down it using the fishing, like the dead eye hunting vision. You have to have your pole out in your hands in order to use the hunting vision on fish it's kind of weird but hey whatever that's what rockstar does and this is how you can see if you're gonna catch salmon trout whatever the case may be the only downside you can't really sprint while doing this and you can't obviously be on a horse while doing this so you have to know somewhat of the location you want to fish in otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of time just walking down the shore now, one of the best and easiest things to do that I think a lot of people miss out on is cooking big game meat. Big game meat is actually super easy to come by. I'll get to that in a second, but cooking it with either oregano, thyme, or mint gives you golden cores to either stamina, health, or dead eye. 
And this by itself is super great because it makes those cores last a lot longer before they go down. But this is super helpful if you're going up in the north of the map and you don't have any snow outfits. You're not gonna really die if you go up there without cold outfits, but your cores will drain. Well, if you have you know a decent amount of this cooked big game meat with the oregano timer mint stocked in your inventory, you can just keep eating that. And I think, like I said, it lasts for a relatively long time and your cores won't go down when you're up there in the snow. So if you're going up there with some of your buddies to go hunting or something, make sure you stock up on that and it will help. The way you find big game meat, if you don't know, go to the swamps, the marsh, kill all the alligators you can find and you get like three to four big game meat per kill. Super easy, there's a ton of them out there relatively easy to kill because they don't move but you get big game meat basically by killing any animal that will attack you and it just so turns out alligators are the most plentiful and the easiest found and the easiest to kill so go out there kill them get your big game meat go searching for oregano thyme and mint you can just find those in random spots across the world and make your big game meat with them now speaking of cold weather gear now this is unfortunately something i don't have gameplay of but you're just gonna have to trust me someone messaged me in my discord and let me know that if you actually buy a permanent posse for 200 dollars, the leader of that posse will actually get the option to switch outfits of the posse and one of the settings actually puts warm gear on you and everyone in your posse so if you are struggling with the cold weather or if you just want cold weather gear have someone maybe purchase the permanent posse so you can all get that cold weather clothing another thing you can prevent people from riding your horse and stealing it i think a lot of people don't know about this because i've stolen a lot of people's horses not even intentionally just like accidentally and no one has stolen mine and they get kind of pissed off when they can't if you go into your i think it's the stable option and then select the horse access. You can choose if only you get can get on it, if your friends can get on it, if your posse can get on it, if anyone can get on it. And if you change it, obviously, to only you, then no one can ever steal your horse. So that is going to be something to prevent people from riding off on your horse. And it has definitely helped me quite often. Also, if you're wondering on how best and how quickly to bond your horse to get it to level four, one of the best ways I found was by leading it. It's actually super quick. I think you can get to max bonding in about like 30-ish minutes. Just look at your horse. I think it's hit triangle and you can lead your horse around. Now, yeah, you're going to be a sitting duck if someone wants to kill you and you can't run. But if you're maybe doing something like watching a show or whatever, do this and you can quickly level up your horse. And then the final thing, this is probably the most fun thing out of all of these. You can actually lasso people and save them from dying. I've seen so many really cool clips of people lassoing someone as they jump off of a mountain or as they accidentally get swept up in a river about to go over a waterfall and they lasso them and save them. It's just so cool. And it's really, well, it's kind of easy to do. You have to be somewhat careful you'll see in some of the gameplay here me and my friend were just messing around with it and if they catch you too far you will slam into the cliff and die also like we're on the train track at one point and my friend had some trouble actually reeling me up because you end up hitting like the beams and you fall over and fall off and die so there are some locations i guess where it doesn't work but if you get it right and if you time it right you can do some really cool stuff and save some people and you can drag them up if they were falling off of a cliff. So always be at the ready. Always have your lasso out and ready to go, I guess. And see if anything crazy will happen in your game. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for this video. If you did learn anything and found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could drop it a like, subscribe. Also, if you're new around here for more Red Dead Online content. But as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, shit.